This is what the fast food experience looks like in 2020. You're not sure if I'm there to order food or rob you. What's up, everybody? With no fanfare, no BS, and no stalling, it's time to check out Taco Bell's new Flamin' Hot Doritos Taco. I've always been a fan of Taco Bell, so I'm kind of excited that they've whipped out a brand new chip flavored shell. Nice brightly red. And of course, this is a special drive through Thursday video review that I'm doing in collaboration with Big John TV. And we have a special uh, something coming up. Basically, we're going to both review the Flamin' Hot Doritos Taco, and we're also going to review a bonus item. Not going to tell you what I'm doing until I get to it, and he's also not going to tell you what you... Well, he's reviewing until you get over to his channel after this video, so blah. So let's just see what this taco is all about. Took a few seconds, but a little spiciness has kicked in. It's a little spicy, but not too spicy. I can't help but notice the shell is getting a little bit soggy. And actually, now I notice they didn't give me that special little paper shell, paper holder. Just got a standard wrapper, so. Maybe that's another reason why it didn't hold up so well. It's got all the classic taste of a Taco Bell standard taco. A little bit of the spicy kick on the shell. My lips are burning, not severely, but enough to notice. It does, the, it, the shell does remind me of the uh, Flamin' Hot Doritos. Pretty good. It's nothing worth, uh, you know, it's not, it's not worth killing anyone over. It's a, it's a nice touch, decent. I'd give it a B plus. So um, after you've seen my review, head over to Big John. And now it's time for the secret item. I ordered one item at Taco Bell that I'd never had before. Taco Bell is one of my, growing up, was one of my favorite fast food joints to eat at. Me and my buddy Pablo like to eat there a lot. If not, not for any real reason, just I guess that was the place we went to. And so this is the Grande Taco Burrito. The, the Grande Supreme Taco Burrito. So they took the elements from the Grande Taco, my car is making some noise here, and they just stuffed it into a burrito. The sour cream, just cheese. Red chip strips, which I don't remember being in Taco Supreme. Of course, the major difference between a normal taco and a Taco Supreme is they toss in tomatoes and sour cream. I'm not noticing any tomatoes here. So I think those red chips are supposed to substitute for the tomatoes. I don't know, the comparison between the taco and the burrito is kind of lost on me. Don't really care a whole, whole lot for this thing. It just reminds me of a pretty basic burrito. Looks like my cat has just ran outside. She, Even though she's a cat, she likes to act like a dog. Interesting. But this is far less interesting to me. For a dollar, it's not bad. I mean, I can't complain uh, for a price point, but there's just really nothing going for it. I'd rather have the the Frito burrito or the, um, the chicken and rice burrito. Also a dollar a piece. But this is a new item, and according to the menu, the kiosk I ordered on, it's one of the most popular. It's got some interesting tastes. I mean, the, the red chips are kind of cool. Aside from the red chips, though, there's really not a whole lot here. And now you've seen uh, 
my review of the Doritos Flamin' uh, Bur Taco at Taco Bell and the the Taco Gra the ta the Taco Grande Burrito. Uh, both both new items at Taco Bell, so go ahead and give them a try. And also right now, please head over to Big John TV. Uh, Big John as, as TV as you know does a lot of family friendly content surrounding food, uh, food challenges, food reviews, recipes, baking. Lots of good old-fashioned family fun, which it's not always the biggest thing on YouTube, but it's something that I enjoy myself, since I am a high school teacher. And um, I hope to see you all in the next video. So until we do it again, stay in school, don't do drugs, and eat like a freak.